Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. Hi, it's Ray Cats French Republic. Let's continue off our last off. So we got civil wars in Russia and in Spain. I have sent troops to help out both of them. The nationalists have taken over the uh the Netherlands, and I think that's okay. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. And Sweden has also joined the Reichspact. So the Reichspact are looking pretty, pretty solid at the moment. Russia, on the other hand, definitely is it. Also, yes, definitely support the Carl list. Because that's where I'm sending my troops to. We really can't do anything here at the moment. So who's supporting who? Nobody right now. But we're definitely, you know, we're giving some support to them. Giving them more organization, planning speed, max planning. And also their guns are cheaper, which is nice. And our troops will arrive there in three more days. I don't know how it takes so long for them to get there, but that's okay. This seems like it's going to be, like, the worst to try to push our way through. And it looks like that the Russians are actually losing on every single front line. Which is not great. 249 days for 1920 tech, or 1939 tech, probably is not worth it. So, let's go. Let's get better aircraft. This aircraft is going to be important. My troops deployed here, so... First things first, I want to push out the Syndicalist. Because I don't really care if Scarless or the Kingdom wins, I just want CNTA FAI to lose. Because whether or not Spain joins the, the Reichspact or France, or, you know, the Entente, I don't think it matters too, too much. Yeah, and Arsene is definitely going to win the war down there. No real doubt in my mind. So, so, so. What can I do with you up here? What if you went to these areas instead? Like, I'm just trying to see, like, where the weak spot would be in this, uh, in this front line. Like, we can see the communards over here. They're, like, they're trying to get something done. And they all seem like they're mostly militia troops. And if they're militia troops, I mean, they should be pretty easy to kind of dislodge. Like, I, could, I wish I could send more troops in this region, but it's not going to be physically possible. So we can get better light tanks. Which I think I do want as well. Yeah, so you're going to get kicked out, and you're immediately going to shift over to this guy. Yes. And that'll work out pretty okay. Delete this plan... You're both marching into him. Yeah, I mean, it's already going, like, pretty well, I would say. Again, we just want to help out the Carlist. As much as we possibly can. How many troops do you have? Uh, about 17, 18. So you're definitely the smallest of the factions. Which is not great. Germany sending volunteers over here. France sending volunteers to CNT. Not a huge surprise. Okay, let's see if we can actually push in. I actually don't even have a battle plan, honestly. When we're in this kind of situation, I think it's fine not to have one. As long as the Carlos can kind of hold position when I slowly try to march my way over to Barcelona. I mean, one problem doing this kind of strategy is we're definitely not going to be able to take over these uh, colonies. I really wish I could. Like, as soon as Carlos Spain won, I could be like, I helped you out during the war, so you should definitely have my back here. And give me, like, some special treatment or something.
Let's see. How about you, like, you both go here? That's only, like, one Soviet militiaman. I think we can probably break him pretty simple. Uh, pretty simply. Let's get some more military factories down here. I'm going to trade away a little bit of our fuel. Or a little bit of our factories for some fuel because we do need it. Let's get it from Venezuela. And yeah, we're just going to keep on getting all our... Like, these, getting these 12 civilian factories and 6 military factories seems really good. Attention. Man, I don't want to leave this area. Not until, like, Car the, the Carlos can send some reinforcements over here. I don't need the building slots, honestly. I mean, I know I said before that I did, but uh, I've changed my mind. I don't think it's actually that important. We've been hit! 2% stability. Please stop bombing my... Like, I don't want to be bombed right now. Please and thank you. Like, I want to keep things under control. So, com like, the commune. If you could, like, stop bombing me and sending terrorists over here, that'd be great. Like, I've restored the constitution. What more do you could you possibly want from me? Like, come on. Let's be honest here. I I'm doing the best that I can under the... Uh, the situation. Soon as soon as you're I mean not fighting me anymore, I'm gonna keep moving on towards Barcelona. Like is Carl sending more troops down here? No. They actually they might lose. Which is embarrassing. But we desperately need to hold on to this area for as long as we can. I'm going to try to break through this militia line right there. Hopefully my tank doesn't get surrounded. Otherwise, that'll be incredibly sad. The Baltic War has begun. So Estonia, Latvia's clear of independence. I don't think... Like, you'll call in your allies, right? No, you won't. So it's five against about five. So we'll see who actually wins there. Usually the Baltic Duchy wins, but... You know, that can always change at some point. Eventually. Okay, so pull you out for just a moment. See if we can fight against you. Just kind of secure Catalonia. I don't think CNT is going to win. But I'm also leaning towards that the Carlist are not going to win either. Which is disappointing. Please, phone, don't vibrate. You actually are extremely loud when you vibrate. There are 50 here. Yeah. So this entire area, I think, is just going to get taken over. So I almost think I wanted to, like, recall my volunteers. And I've, I don't know if you can do that, can you? I have no idea, actually. I mean, it sounds stupid that I don't know if that's possible, but I legitimately do not know if you're able to recall back uh, volunteer divisions. Yes, we did manage to push in, you know, like one province, but I mean, Russia's actually still doing all right. They're, they're holding on, which is about the best you can ask for. Maybe we, maybe we actually want to leave. Follow Burgos. Yeah, we definitely don't want to be here anymore. Like we do. I, I think we just want to go to the port. So sorry, Carlos, you, you've lost this war, and I don't want my two and three divisions to be dead as hell, so goodbye forever. 
I mean, I'm not going to send any reinforcements to the Kingdom of Spain. Mostly because I don't think it's actually required. And Greece actually did not join the Belgrade Pact, which might actually mean that the, the Bulgarians are probably going to win. If I send you home, like from here, if I send you just like two Algiers, you need three convoys with zero transports. Oh, can you actually not transport out? Okay, how do I actually get rid of volunteers? I have no idea. Like, it's definitely not disbanding them. I think it's just holding this port until they probably capitulate and then the, my troops will get sent home. But I actually don't know. Carl, Carlist. You're about 45% of the way dead. Which I think might mean that they're actually going to push to the city that I'm trying to escape from. And come kill me. And if that's the case. That's pretty bad for me. Uh, which is not surprising. Yeah, so you're going to capture you. It's worth three victory points. One. Uh, that's worth three. So yeah, no, I think they're going to eventually try to take over the capital. And I think we just got to hold on for as long as humanly possible. But Bulgaria fighting against the Turks as well is definitely, I think, going to be the nail in the coffin for you. Unless, of course, the Cairo Pact decides to attack you, like, right now. And if they do, that should be pretty simple for you to win. So you still can't go to extent to conscription yet. Okay, Chief of Army. Division attack is a flat 5% or a flat 10%. I think it's pretty good. Organization goes up 10%. Supply, actually, I think we want the organization to go up a little bit. And we're about to get four civilian factories. Which seems pretty good to me. And we'll immediately go and get those four military factories as well. Yeah, just getting all those factories is beautiful. Like, it's really, really nice for us. I might actually want to abandon the city so my troops actually go home. Yeah, so... The United States has capitulated. Apparently, the CSA unit has, like, a million men now. Where do they all come from? I have no idea. Yeah, we'll try to send our tank division as well. I mean, again, they're only light tanks, so they're not that good. But they might be able to get something done against these basic uh, Russian infantrymen. So, Carl is Spain. You're at 20%. But you need to get on the 5%. You don't have any other cities, do you? I don't think so, so I'm actually going to abandon Balbo. Okay, no, never mind. They, they lost. That makes things a lot simpler for me then. And we'll just send them back over here. I can't send them to... To Russia. Russia can only have these two divisions right now. Again, the Baltic Duchy has won. Not a huge surprise. They have 11 to 24 against 16 to 39. Like, that's still, like, really bad numbers for us. So maybe I do send volunteers to the Kingdom of Spain. Why don't my guys actually show back up? They'll be here on the 18th of October. Okay, that's pretty soon. Upgrade our fighter planes. We'll go up to... 1939 rifles would be nice, but I think... Yeah, it's almost like, it's almost the entire year to upgrade, which is a lot. Let's go for construction speed on you. So. 
4,000 manpower goes down, 14% stability. Uh, the white population of Algeria, the Pinot Noir, has a large Jewish minority due to some anti-Semitic preachings from the members of the government, such as uh, Philippe Petrot. Unrest is growing to the coastal cities of Algeria. And most of the Jewish Pinot Noirs threaten to emigrate. So we can fire the anti-Semites, or we can let them go if they want to. Let's just fire the anti-Semites. I mean, I don't want to take a 14% stability hit right now. My stability is already, like, not great. Okay, so you come back home. I'm going to immediately just send you back out to... The Kingdom of Spain. They actually like me, even though I sent volunteers to go kill him just a moment ago. But CNT, FAI is definitely the bigger threat than just the Kingdom. I don't care if it's under German control, as long as it's not under international control. Which I don't think it's a controversial uh, opinion here. Okay, I don't think that's going to work out so much for you. You can see the Russians are pushing in slightly in this kind of area right here. Like, towards the south they're doing okay, but the north they are faltering. Let's get a little bit more aluminum from the French or from the from the West Indies. And now that we are making we have enough oil right now, and we're not really we're not using any of it. We should stop we'll trade with one factory. At least for right now. Then just train up even more divisions. I know we have like no manpower, but that. Once we are in a war, that should begin to resolve itself. We go way down to the south. So unsurprisingly, uh, the Italian Republic has joined the Austrian faction. You can approach Albania, get them involved as well. And they might fight the Belgrade Pact at some point. They generally will eventually. Yeah, but it's getting up to, like, extensive conscription. Or even, like, service by requirement right away. Might still be good. We got our light tanks, too. We can upgrade you. Even though we're really not producing that many tanks to begin with. So let's get better research speed. We're only, again, we're only like a month and a half ahead of time, so it's not actually a huge deal. And also Spain, you need to send more troops down here to the south, buddy. Like, I understand that you're really, really outnumbered, which is why I had to send troops over here to begin with. But still. Uh, everybody's declaring kind of war on the Ottomans. And Albania's joining the Austrian faction. That's okay. So we're doing, I think, all right. The Ottomans are now fighting a massive war. I'm pretty sure they sent most of their troops to fight against Bulgaria, so they're probably just dead. What can you guys do right now? Beyond the entirety of the border? Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, there's two empty provinces right here. I don't know if you've noticed. Do not go to this province, though. Just being those two. Everybody join the Cairo Pact. If we do this, as long as Spain has their entire front line guarded, I do think eventually we'll be able to push in pretty well. And we got another beautiful four factories. So we're going to get a bunch of resources here. We're going to use our factories basically to upgrade and produce more of everything else that we need. And I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you for watching. My name is If you've enjoyed, put a thumbs up. If not, you can always thumb down. Want to subscribe and goodbye.